Hello friends, in this video we will learn how to create dynamic name ranges. So for that we will use offset functions. Before that let us understand what are dynamic name ranges. So normal name ranges means whatever area you have selected, let's say this area that can be given a name which is currently named as data. Okay, but what if my data is increasing by a few rows or maybe few columns, then this data will not take care of those additional columns or rows. Okay, so for that purpose, we need a dynamic name range which can adjust automatically as and when our data increases or decreases. So let us understand offset function first. So when I type offset, okay, it requires five elements. It requires a reference, that means starting point. Okay, you need to put everything in absolute references, which means dollars should be there in your cells. Then it says, do you want to move from this reference point in terms of any rows? No, as of now, I don't need to move. Same for columns. After that, height means how many rows do you want to select? So if the it is starting from second and going up to 16th, I can say that 15 is my height. Then how many columns do you want in this selection? So I can say three. And when I click OK, you can see it is selecting the same data set. Now we are just replicating it here using a formula. That is not our purpose. It is just a sample that what will be your selection if this formula is used anywhere else. Okay. So if I change this 15 to five and when I press enter, you can see only five rows are getting selected. So that is the purpose of this offset function. If I change this to let's say one row and three columns, then only first row will be selected. Or if I change this to three rows and one columns, then that will be my output. So this formula we will use and then we can put it in define name range. Okay. So first, Rather than 15 and 3, which was 15 and 3, because these are absolute numbers, 15 will not change, 3 will not change. So there's no point of having a formula like that. We should make this 15 adjustable so that whenever our data increases, it should also increase. So in place of this 15, what I would do, I would write a formula for count anything. Count anything in column B. And I would use dollars and close. Same thing for columns also, I will use count anything in row number two. And again, absolute references. And then close the bracket for offset. So now you can see the benefit. If I add few more lines, you can see my data is increasing automatically. If I add a column also, my data is increasing automatically. Okay, so you can see that now this function is automatically adjusting to your size of data. Now what I will do, I will copy this formula from the formula bar. I will press escape to come out of the formula bar and then I will right click anywhere in a cell and define name. And here for the reference, I will use my formula. And here I will name it as data underscore let's say adjustable okay so now we don't need this we have that name available data and you can see this data adjustable is what we can use in our VLOOKUP function in our index functions or anywhere wherever we need a data like this we can use this name there and this data adjustable will automatically adjust whenever we decrease the data set or we increase the data set. Only thing that you need to take care is that if by mistake there is some text in this row number two, then it will count more and it will have these many columns because it is counting five. Okay. And similarly, if let's say something is empty in this column B, so then it will count one cell less. So it will select only this much data set. So those things you need to take care. Otherwise, this formula can automatically adjust your data set. Hope you found it useful. Please like the video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also mention in comments if you have any other ideas.